Hi, it's Tyler here with ProScale Services and today we are going to be talking about how to shut your water off to your home. This is something that everybody needs to know, uh, not just you know one person in the home, but ideally anyone who has the capability of shutting the water off should know how to do it in, in the event that there's a flood going on in the home or there's a, a, an emergency reason for having that water shut off. Now, typically in the home, you're gonna have one to three places where the water will be able to be shut off at, and it's gonna vary depending upon where your house is at. Typically, you're gonna have a shutoff valve at the main riser, which is where the water comes up on the exterior of the home. Uh, typically, it'll be where your hose bib is hooked up, and right there, you're gonna have a gate valve, which is a multi-turn valve, or a quarter turn valve, which is a, you just turn it a quarter turn and it's gonna shut it off, such as we have here. A secondary location is in the garage. So typically, if it's not on the main riser, it's gonna be in the garage, and it'll be up in the front corner of your garage. So where the garage door closes, it'll typically be on either side of one of the garage doors, and that valve will be located right there in the wall. Sometimes they're in uh, garage door cabinets and stuff like that that have been built in after the fact. So again, that's why it's very important to know where it's at and have easy access to it. In the event you need to shut off your water, it's just as simple as coming to the valve itself, knowing where it's at, and throwing the valve. Your water's off to the whole home now, and you know whatever is going on is gonna be, you know, damage is gonna be mitigated. Now, periodically, and this has happened on more than one occasion, um, it's not a bad idea to pick up a meter key this is, a, this is basically a tool that's used specifically to shut your water off at the valve meter box. These valves fail, um, especially the gate valves. If you have a multi-turn gate valve to shut off your water, they fail every time you need them, basically. Um, so a meter key is a secondary option that'll shut off the water to the whole home. And you know, in the event that you couldn't get into a home, uh, you might be able to shut your neighbor's water off you know, as a good Samaritan. If you see water pouring out their garage or pouring out their front door, this is a way that you can shut the water off without having to have access to the home. So this is what's called your landscape irrigation vacuum breaker. Uh, a lot of times people think that this is the whole home shutoff valve because it's coming up out of the ground and it's got a valve on it. This is not that, this is not that valve. If you had a main riser out here, there'd be a secondary line coming up out of the ground that would go typically tie in right directly below your hose bib. So if you have this set up, almost always the shutoff valve will be in the garage in the location that we just showed there at the front edge of the garage. So we'll go over to our meter box and we'll show you how to use this tool. Okay, so we're out at our meter box. Your meter box is typically gonna be located near the sidewalk or curb, and it'll have typically a metal top. It can be rectangle, or it can also be round. So just, again, something that you should know where it's at, and something that you should know how to get into. If you have the meter key, which again, these are about $15, it's something that you should probably have in your garage near your shutoff valve. Um, the key itself will typically uh, open up the, the uh, top here of the meter box. You just put it in the slot, pop it open, and you can pull it aside. It's good to use this over your hands because there have been instances where there's scorpions, snakes, you name it. It's been in these boxes before, bees. Uh, so it's nice to have a little bit of distance. Um, when you look in your meter box, sometimes rodents will also have made a home in here and they'll bury the whole thing. So it's good to make sure that like this box here, it's nice and open and everything's clearly identifiable. The meter key is uh, got a little slot on it and you'll see that there's two little round holes right here. So this valve is actually designed so that in the event that you know, no one lives in the home or you know, the, the water company needs to turn the water off, they can actually turn the water off and lock it. So those two holes are what need to line up because when they line up, they can put a lock on it and lock you out of your water. So all you do is you take your meter key and you put it on that little valve and you just turn. And there you go. Once they're lined up, your water's off and it's off from the street up. So in the event that a landscaper or someone hit the valve in the ground or hit a, hit a line in the ground, you've now shut off everything up to the main city water supply. To turn it back on, simply quarter turn back the other direction and you're back up and running. 
Well, that's how you shut your water off. And that's also the end of our video today. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment box. I'll respond to them as they come up. Have a great day.